As a heavy Tesla investor, there's one thing that I focus on all the time. And you, if you guys have been watching my channel for some time, you guys already know that I look at fundamentals and data. And after this Q3 delivery report, we've got data. We're going to go ahead and take a look at some heavy duty data, not emotions, not bears, data, numbers speaking, something that investors, someone like me pays attention to because that's all that matters. This chart here is all that matters. What matters exactly is that we went from this all the way to this. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. And in today's video, that's exactly what we're going to be looking at. It's pure data. That's it. If you guys are ready, man, smash that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already, because this video is going to be flipping spicy. All right, let's go. One of the biggest testables and one that actually goes down and deep into data is none other than James Stevenson. He does a lot of these cool charts. He does a lot of these cool data. He looks into Tesla's, you know, financials and finds things that are just absolutely simple that we all see, but puts it in charts and show presents to us. And it's like, we all go like, wow. That's actually absolutely ridiculous. And here is one of them, which I, I mean, just the data here is absolutely insane. So James Stevenson says, says, what gets lost with some of my charts is the magnitude of just how many more people are buying Tesla every year. It's right there on the chart, James. How could we miss it? I hear you asking. Well, to illustrate what I mean, here's a chart I could have posted three years ago today. Let's take a look at this chart. Take a look at this chart from 2013, almost 18,000 vehicle deliveries, all the way to 2020 of 430,000 vehicle deliveries. Now, obviously, it's from Q3 of 2013 to Q3 of 2020. So it, he's taking pretty much Q3 to Q3 every single year. Nonetheless, though, just looking at this chart, you can already see the exponential growth. But <laughs> you, know, you, you wait until you see 2021, 2022, 2023. But let's see what he says here. He says, impressive growth, right? Well, I mean, of, of course. Yes, but that's how they all look. With every short bars for the oldest time periods. After a while, the latest updates of these charts begin to visibly look the same because every time the chart is updated, the latest record high reduces the heights of all the bars that came before. The relative magnitude never looks any more impressive at glance than it did year before. Hmm, I wonder where this looks similar. Oh, look at that, the actual Tesla stock chart. If you guys take a look from 2010, all the way to like 20 mid of 2013, it looks flat. It looks absolutely flat. Whatever happened between those three years, whether it had a massive crash or a massive roar, you just can't see it because whatever happened today does not matter. Whatever happens today does not matter before. It just doesn't. Let's just take a look at from 2013 where they did pop nicely all the way to 20. 20 pretty much where they stayed flat for six seven years look at that look at that drop from here from here to there it was a 33 percent drop but if you tell me oh buying at the high here of like 12 or 13 dollars would have been an awesome deal but at that time you there was a lot of commotion going on that oh tesla's gonna go bankrupt you know they're never gonna make it evs is never the future I mean, this went on for six years and all of a sudden, bam, look at that. And guys, let me tell you guys this. What you guys see here, we went from 400 to 100 in the span of a year. This exact stuff happened in these small little areas over here and between 2010 and 2013. And James Stevenson is saying the same thing with the chart here. Where is it? Right here. 2020 until 2013. Just look at that. It just doesn't matter what, what happened 2013. But guys... If you guys are ready to see the 2021, 2022, 2023, then you guys buckle up and smash that like button because it's 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 ridiculous. You guys ready? Here we go. Look at that. Look at that. The thing doesn't even fit my entire screen. Look at that. All right. 2021, over 800,000. 2022, over 1.2 million. In 2023, over 1.7 million vehicles. Just look at the exponential growth and spoiler alert if you guys think it ends here <laughs> oh man let me show you guys this chart that james stevenson made look at the exponential growth on this just take a look at the growth again i can barely fit this in my chart in, on my page there we go i mean it's a bit smaller now but it doesn't matter look look at the growth look at the flipping growth on this it's just absolutely mind-boggling and insane 
Now guys, mind you this, Q3, this Q3 we had shutdowns because of upgrades. If they didn't have that, we could have slapped on another 10, at, at least 20,000 more vehicle deliveries. This would have been 1.75 million vehicles, even a sharper, steeper. But I'm not done yet showing you guys the, this, this data yet, man. Take a look at this chart right here. You guys see this chart? It's the same chart, but it's made from company filings. But we're going to be adding Q4 here. But before we do that, check it out every single quarter. Look, it doesn't matter. Look, again, okay, we'll come back to that in a bit. I just want to show you guys this next thing is, is crazy. Look at that. How, what is Q4 going to look like? What is Q4 going to look like? You guys ready? You guys ready? That's how Q4 is going to look like. Yes, don't mind my terrible drawing and all that kind of stuff, but that's what Q4 is going to look like. A big surge of a massive block of 500,000 because I do believe Q4 is going to be around 500,000. And Q4, look at that, it's going to soar up. I know it looks a little curved, but whatever, man. You get the point. Q4 is going to be absolutely monstrous. First time going to be hitting the 500K, which is absolutely bullish. Sheesh! But aside from the point, look at this, every quarter. Yeah, so what if Tesla, you know, delivered less in Q3 than Q2? Same thing happened all the way in Q2 of 2022. Same thing happened back in 2020 and 2019. These don't matter. What matters is they continue to go up is this trillion 12 months continues to go up. This matters. This yellow line matters. Long-term scope matters, not short-term stuff. Short-term, anyone can say anything. Oh, they didn't, they missed deliveries. You know, the 450,000 was the vehicle expectation. They did 435, time to sell everything. <laughs> you know what I mean? Does not matter short-term. It, it matters what's gonna happen next year and the year after that. And the year after that and guys this is just vehicles we're looking at watch what happens once tesla solves fsd it's gonna be absolutely in flip insane what you guys need to be looking as a tesla investor as a long-term tesla investor what you guys need to be looking at is this thirty thousand vehicle deliveries and on a quarterly basis to now going to be over or at least five hundred thousand in q4 this matters this progression matters that's all that matters. Everything else in between, while there's less margins and all that kind of stuff, okay, we understand all that. But again, what is a long-term goal for Tesla? To transition everyone to sustainable energy as well as at the same time solve autonomy, general AI, you know, make the car drive itself. So the more vehicles we have on the road, if we do more digging and thinking and how they're doing it, the more vehicles we have on the road, the more customers are gonna get more products that's more towards sustainable energy, like power walls, like the charging thing at home, the solar roof storages, all that kind of stuff. At the same time, the more vehicles you have on the road, and as soon as you solve FSD, and I keep stressing this a lot on my channel, with a snap of a finger, you got FSD with one click of uh, just one over the air update. All, of Tesla, all the Teslas around the world can now opt in for FSD with 200 bucks a month. That's going to be around $2,400 annually. You know how crazy that is? You know how crazy that is? That's also with 80% profit margins. Software as a service business. As soon as this happens, Wall Street's going to go like, whoa, Tesla's now making 80% on a product. That's not a car company anymore. Oh no, they're gonna make this much billions and revenues and profits every single year. Oh no, 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 this is a cheap stock right now. And guess what's gonna happen to this stock? That's exactly it. But anyways, let's go back to the tweet or the post now. It's no longer called tweet because Elon Musk with X. By the way, shout out to James Stevenson. You guys should follow him on X and me as well. If you guys are not following me, I don't know what you guys are doing. I'm very active there. But uh, yeah, he ends off this uh, X with a uh, rocket. I mean, that this emoji says a thousand words in this case, in this X. And Elon Musk comments here, your predictions have always been very accurate. And recently in Q3, my prediction was over 437,000 vehicles. He said 436,000. He came first. I came second. I'm not bragging, but you know, it's, it's, uh, it feels great to be close. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, shout out to James Stevenson. But this, that's all this matters. This chart right here. That's all that matters. Growth and progression is all that matters. Guys, if, if, if you're a Tesla investor, this is what you need to be looking at. If this continues to go up, I mean, not if, this is going to continue to go up. It's not like Ford F-150 where every quarter they do less. And, you know, or Lucid, that does, I mean, we all know the story of Lucid. They're not doing very well quarter by quarter and year over year, and they're not making any money. They're in the negatives. It's crazy. But Tesla is positive cash flow and they're making money, and they're making progression. They got the pricing power. They've got everything figured out. It's absolutely a huge moment when it comes to Tesla, which is why I'm 
all in in the stock. But for you guys to understand more of how Tesla's business and their ecosystem is, check out this video right here. It's one of the proudest videos I've made explaining the entire Tesla's ecosystem. Guys, check it out. You definitely will not be disappointed with this. Get your merch, man. Get your, I bought, guys, Tesla stock is up. So if, if you guys aren't getting your merch, man, then I have, if you guys didn't buy the dip, I don't know why you're not getting the merch, man. All right. And subscribe for more and I shall see you guys in the next video. See ya.